Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with another quick Divi Pro tip. Today I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can change the Divi footer credit. So it's that text that's at the bottom bar. I'm going to show you how to do it in the traditional way and also in the Divi theme builder in the builder itself, which I think is just awesome. All right, let's get started and show you how to do this. So when you install the Divi theme, you get some automatic footer credits at the bottom of the website. I'm going to show you those right here. And you've probably seen this designed by elegant themes powered by WordPress. And you know, there's no like obvious way to change that. It's not like you can just click here or use the Divi builder and something pops up and you can edit it. But I'm going to give you three ways to do this. Um, and they're actually surprisingly easy, especially the last one. I'm going to kind of save the best for last and the one I recommend, but definitely consider all three and see which one fits you the best. Um, I'm going to be using my website here as an example and work through each one. So basically just go over to the blog and follow along because there's going to be um, some snippets and too. So just follow along there. Um, method one is just using the customizer. And there's a couple options and I'll get into this showing like why I don't recommend this method. So in the WordPress customizer, there's one here called footer. And when you open that up, you get a couple different options here. I'll just scroll down here quick. All right. So the one that we would be looking at is actually called the bottom bar. Cause this other section is actually like the footer widget area. So the bottom bar is actually where we need to be be opening up there and looking in. So here you can see the background color and text color and you know different things like that. Right here, disable footer credits. You can just click that and they go away. And you know, I don't know, maybe you don't want them. There you go, they have an option for you to do that. I'm not really sure. You know, I don't know, it just seems like it's a standard thing. So but what about when you want to keep them but edit that? Well, I want to show you. Here it says edit footer credits. And when you just start typing anything, it changes. Just like that. And there it is. So whatever you want to say there, that's how easy it is. Now, there's a lot of negatives to that. Um, for one, you know, it's not going to update automatically. So if you say something like copyright 2020, you know, your website. You know, that's that's great and all that, but you know, come New Year's Day, I know what you're gonna be doing, especially if you have a lot of client websites, you're gonna be busy updating that. And if you don't, it's gonna make you look really unprofessional and all that. So there's really just, I don't know, I just don't like that method. Maybe it's fine for you and that's fine. You know, here I have an example. You might wanna add a link, you know, dress it up a little bit, um, something like that. So there, you know, you could at least click and go somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to move on to the next method here. You can read some of the things I'm saying there. But method two is actually what I've been using for years, you know, on client sites. I would just grab this snippet right here. Um, you can go ahead and do that and just play with it. So just grab it. Um, if you're using our child theme, you'll want to put it into, you know, the JS folder. And if not, then you would want to just go in the back end of WordPress Go down here from your dashboard to the Divi menu to theme options. And again, this is showing you if you're not using a child theme. Go to integration and then just paste that snippet right there. And we're going to click on save. And again, if you're using the child theme, go put it there. You'll probably know where that's at. So let's refresh here. And there you can see that I have a copyright symbol. I have the year. And then it just says your website name. And then I have a link to my site and that's great. And this is, like I said, this is the method that I've been using. If you're not going to use method three, which is by the way, the theme builder, um, if you're not using the theme builder, then this is, this is like the best possible solution on the internet. You know, this is it. Um, because it's automatic, it's going to, you know, puts the copyright symbol in there. The year is going to automatically update. All you have to do is come in here and see where it says your website name. Change that to whatever yours is. And then obviously change the link. You can see it, it starts, you know, 
HTTPS right there. Just change that link. And then inside the brackets here, I have PA creative before the closing, the link a, so just change that to whatever you want. And you could add, you could even add a second link here. You could have it go to your, you know, your terms and conditions and your privacy policy page, something like that. Or you could just take it out and just say, it could literally just say, you know, copyright 2020, your website name, and that's it. And every year it would automatically update. All right. So there you go. That's, you know, kind of like the best method if you're not using the theme builder. And number three, the theme builder. And, you know, if, especially if you're not just, you're just not comfortable editing the code and, you know, HTML and jQuery. And that's just, you know, you just want to leave that alone. You don't want to mess anything up and that's fine. So go ahead and click here on this tutorial. And then you'll come to this tutorial here, the auto updating footer credits. And you may think, well, why is this separate? Well, this was, I did this a while back and this was just using the auto update method um, in the theme builder. Um, and this is one of, you know, one of the, our great tutorials that people share all the time because it's like, oh, it's one of those moments like, ah, it's right there in my face and I didn't even see it. This is a trick. I'm gonna show you this trick. So follow along this tutorial. Go First of all, go to your theme builder. So theme builder right here under the Divi menu. And then, you know, I guess I don't, in this website, I don't have a footer, but if you had a footer, edit it. If you don't, build global footer. And if you're not familiar with this theme builder, you know, this opens up basically the Divi builder. And now we're building the footer template. And this is just, you know, your normal, it's treating it like the normal Divi builder. All right. So I'm going to just add a random row here. I'm not going to be very specific here because I'm just showing you, but add a text module. And then inside that text module, you'll basically, you're not using the actual text here, but look at this symbol right here. So just click on that. It's dynamic content and then look for current date. And I know that sounds funny, but just look for current date and think of it as um, the year. We're just going to show the current date year. So under date format, change the default there to custom. And then it says custom date format. And all you got to do is, is add a capital Y, make sure it's a capital Y. And this is a PHP date format, but just, yeah, you don't need to know that. This just going to show the year. So, and then you're like, well, that's kind of boring. The way that we would add something before that is using the before. All right. So let's say we, you know, copyright and then make sure that like I add a space and then in the after, like here, I'll show you what I was doing here on the tutorial. Oh yeah. Like adding like even a link in there. Okay. Yeah. In the after make sure. And again, we're gonna have to put a space at the beginning and there you go. How cool is that? And again, this part, you know, the 2020 part is the actual dynamic part. And then the rest is just words around it. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you can make an HTML link in here as well. I just really like it. I'll just show you that with the link. I'll just grab the one I had back here. Like instead of that there, let's see, I wanted to show my website link. There you go. And then of course in the text, I could, you know, even style the link settings here. So pretty cool. Um, pretty, pretty exciting that you can do that and it's automatic. And by the way, if you save your theme builder footer layout here, you'll need to get out of here and then click the green save changes. Now you have a global footer and that's replacing that bottom bar completely. So right here, I'm going to refresh and you'll see, it's just going to take it away. Just wipe it out. Watch this. All right. And right there is, the template. All right, there you go. So those are the three ways to do it. And like I said, if you're, if you're not into the theme builder, you don't want to use it on that particular site, then use method number two. And if you're ready to embrace the theme builder, then take my theme builder course and use this really cool trick. Okay. So that's how you change the Divi footer text. If you put this into place on your website, be sure to give me a thumbs up. That way I'll know. 
be sure to let me know what you want to see next. We have a lot of these quick tips coming on Thursdays and then full tutorials on Tuesdays. So be sure to check back and we'll see you guys in the next video.